Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to repair Windows startup issues you might be having on your Windows 7 computer. So this tool should hopefully be able to automatically repair your Windows 7 problems without the need for any CDs or DVDs. Now there are alternative methods if you do have the ability to run a CD or DVD and you have the time to do it. But in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you guys an uh, external media free tutorial. So hopefully this should be able to resolve your problems without the need to go out and download anything. So obviously you're not able to boot into Windows, but I just like to have this as my landing page when I begin tutorials. I don't want to start on a black screen. So we're going to assume that you're unable to boot into Windows. So as your computer is starting up, you want to tap the F8 key repeatedly on your keyboard. And then as you're tapping the F8 key, you just want to tap it repeatedly. Okay, so this is a screen that hopefully you guys will be able to access. So I recommend selecting the first option here where you highlight it over. It should say repair your computer. And under description, it should say view a list of system recovery tools you can use to repair starter problems, run diagnostics, or restore your system. One hit enter. And this will begin loading the files. And again, I want to mention if this tutorial does not resolve your problems, you probably will have to download an external media like a Windows 7 recovery disk, or if you have any Windows 7 installation media, you can use that as well to launch the repair my computer or repair my PC options. And that'll give you a little bit more functionality into getting a fresh, clean Windows install files if you were going to go through the command line method. But this tutorial is not gonna really require that. So for system recovery options, select whatever your keyboard input method is. And then if you have any password on your computer, you enter it here. If you don't have a password or you've disabled it, you can just click on OK for a blank field. So now for choose a recovery tool, we have a few options here. And I would highly recommend if the first option does not work for you, go back into this utility as I showed in this tutorial going by tapping F8. And then load the other two here, which is the system restore, which will restore Windows to an earlier point in time, as well as system image recovery. So if you have any system images backed up, again, that would probably be to a CD or DVD. So for this video, it would probably be for these first two here. So Startup Repair will automatically fix problems that are preventing Windows from starting. And System Restore will restore Windows to an earlier point in time. If you're going to run the System Restore method, which I would recommend running after we go through the Startup Repair method, I'd recommend to go back to the most recent restore point. And I just want to put that out there. And if you had any Windows memory diagnostic issues, so if you thought your memory or RAM was having issues, you could run this utility as well to scan for hardware errors with that as well. So we're going to launch the Startup Repair Utility. This is completely automated, does not require any user interaction at this point. So just sit back, this might take a few minutes. Again, depending on the size of your hard drive, it might take a little bit longer. Thank you. 
Okay, so it should say restore your computer to complete the repairs. To restart immediately, click finish. I'm going to click finish here. And then without even having to do anything else, it should begin restarting your computer. And now, like I said, if this method did not work for you, I'd recommend going through the system restore utility. And hopefully one of those methods should work. And as always, you can always download the Windows 10 recovery, or I should say Windows 7 recovery media. And you can have additional options through there. There are plenty of commands you can run through the command line window. But rather than make this a three or four hour video, I've made several tutorials in that nature in the past. And if you had any specific error messages, I'd recommend going online and looking them up because often they will have their own unique repairs and fixes. So, so I just want to put that out there. But I do hope this tutorial was able to help you guys out. And as always, thank you for watching, and I will catch you in the next tutorial. Goodbye.